So for you, who is the customer avatar? Who buys this product? Let's start with the demographics and work our way down. I want to advise you that a parentage change is a severe action that could lead to a drop in sales. It's a risky play. I, I want to stress that. When you go to the brand to propose this, you need to press upon their minds that Steven firmly believes this is a good idea and that we hypothesize that it could increase the conversion rate by 2.5%, which is like a 40 plus percent conversion increase. Explain why by demonstrating the fact that you have to select the size drop down. Do not under any condition accept anything but two possibilities. Possibility one, maintain the status quo. Possibility two, keep color together and break size off. No other possibility should be um, under consideration. So if you can't convince the brand to go with the break on size, then maintain the status quo at all costs and, and basically say we refuse to do anything but those two options. Very strong language needs to be used if they don't buy in. Here is why I feel so strongly on this. First of all, the risk on parentage movements. There is a lot of rankings involved. Technically rankings are at the child level, but in Google, it's at the parent level. So Google will rank the parent and at 8,000 reviews, we are actually going to decrease the review count when we break this parent up. So that's a scary maneuver. Now. The data that I've read indicates that there is no difference on conversion rate between 1,000 and 8,000 reviews. It's nominal. If we go from one parentage to five parentages, in theory, um, the two best sellers should have somewhere between two and 3,000 reviews a piece, and then the other ones will have around 1,000. That would be my guess. If they are cautious or uncertain, you can run some uh, tools to get like review counts by parentage. If you're saying 80% of the sales are on two parentages, this is a non-issue. So the difference between sales in 1,000, 8,000, nominal, will not help us. The difference in conversion by removing size should be extremely high. The consumer probably doesn't shop by size. Now, I'm not the customer avatar. I'm not an expert on this item. How long have you been working with this item? Oh, we've been working with this item since uh, so February personally. March time frame. You personally? Yes. Okay. So do you understand the customer avatar? Do you understand the three-time divorced truck driver customer avatar version of this item? I don't understand the uh, analogy used. I use an absurd metaphor to make it memorable. If you were trying to sell a Russian mail order bride, the target customer avatar would be three-time divorced truck drivers. If you were trying to sell a toothbrush and you told me your customer avatar was anybody with teeth, I would say to you, you're wrong because it's too broad. Now, if you were selling a unicorn toothbrush, I would tell you the customer avatar is my five-year-old daughter, girls between age five and eight, but isn't three-time divorced truck driver specific enough. I'll be honest, I haven't thought that metaphor through far enough to understand that one layer deeper, but that's good enough.